I'm so good that I could shoot an apple off your head. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. I don't like this activity in the least. Is he going to hurt the beaver? Well, let's see. Well, I'm going to do more than hurt the beaver. Canada, a broad patchwork of strange stories and local legends, where fact is stranger than fiction. Two men set out on a quest, an attempt to expose these myths and mysteries, and in the process, quilt together a nation's true identity. Frank Wolf and Todd McPhee, an odd pair of cross-dressing, note-taking private dicks investigating the B-sides of Canadian history. Here they will present their case for all to judge, exposing Canada, one mystery at a time. We've just staggered into Quinnell, British Columbia. Behind us, we got a freaky statue, and inside, we're gonna check out a freaky little doll. We met Ruth, who is the curator at the Quinnell Museum. This is where she is. Ooh. She's frightening. <laughs> It's a freaky little number, eh? The doll has quite a cold, dead stare. Mandy belonged to a couple in England who had twins who died of polio. So, so most likely what's uh, haunting this museum are the twins. Could be. 1991, Lisa, the donor of the doll, brought her in. And she says that she would hear a baby cry down the basement. Go down the basement, the window was open and they the curtains would be flowing back and forth and there was no baby down there. Who was this? Oh, she is getting pale. Can you see that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> when you meet people, don't you sometimes feel like backing off? Sometimes. From some people? Yeah, freaky And some people, people are, <laughs> well, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a corner here, I don't know. You're scaring him, Ruth. <laughs> Nothing particularly bad happened with Ruth, but with others visiting the museum, their uh, cameras would jam. They wouldn't be able to take pictures of her. Somebody from Calgary came over here. She was videoing her. Mm -hmm. The light would go on and off and on and off. And I thought, oh, she's fooling with the camera. Then she would point to another exhibit, and it'd be fine. Jim, is the camera working? Does she ever just kind of open this door and go for a little walk? And so I have her to... lamp. The lamb was found out of the case one morning. Why is the lamb there? One volunteer said, I think Mandy needs to be protected. Well, may maybe Mandy hates the lamb. Well, there's weird things that are happening as I take her out of the case uh -huh. and put her in the office and sit her there with us for a little bit. And then Frank said, Ruth, can we take her out of the case? No, I don't do this for very many people. I know. Okay. We'll be very careful with Mandy. We will. Okay. It's How do you feel cheap? holding, touching Mandy like that? You're asking for a curse. Mandy just needs some love. Oh. <laughs> I believe that we've been cursed by Mandy. He invited the spirits within this doll along with us on our journey. You came and you haunted the museum. <laughs> I would sing that, I think. If I was here for a while and really got to know Mandy. You are singing it yeah. to Mandy. Uh, yeah. About a year ago, a little over a year ago, I had the picture of Mandy up on the, tele, uh, the computer screen. And when I went to shut it down in the afternoon, the desktop, oh, I got, the desktop went like this, like that, just like a PowerPoint presentation. And there it's was like a the picture of Mandy. Really, really, really truly. Yeah. Really. Oh. Yes, witness, I have witnesses, honest to God. Yes. How much would it cost to buy her? To to buy her? She's priceless. She's priceless. Oh, lovely. Isn't that nice? <laughs> My mother and her They'll think, oh, what a silly curator. <laughs> and no sillier than you kissing her. <laughs> I won't tell you her again. It's okay, Mary. Burp her. Uh, yeah. I'm taking her with me now, okay? Okay. I personally feel that there's something there. Can't figure it out. There's something bizarre. Something weird at times. Something not sure. But something. I'm not going to deny that there isn't anything.